Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. Today in this practical video I will guide you for design of RCC column for four story commercial building. Guys you can see clearly size of this column is 18 by 18 inches with concrete cover. Here guys we have 12 steel rods. Dia is 20 millimeter. You can see clearly size 18 by 18 inches, 12 steel rods, dia 20 millimeter for each bar. Next guys you can see die of tie is 8 millimeter with the spacing of 100 to 150 mm. In lapping zone guys we have 4 inches are 100 mm after h by 3 distance we have 6 inches which is 150 mm guys you can see hooks are bent on 135 degree so this is the correct design for this column only one thing guys you can see hooks are provided on the same direction but it should be provided alternately guys you can see clearly also guys you can see inside they provided tie links guys you can see dia is 8 mm the length of hook is 3 inches which is best for this type of building it should not be less than 3 inches Guys, you can see the spacing, which is 4 inches at the bottom. After h by 3 distance, we have 6 inches, 150 mm. Next, guys, I will guide you for lapping length. If you see, guys, the lapping is started from here. The formula is 6TD, where D is die of steel rod, D is 20 mm. As I told you in many videos from ACI and IS code that the lapping should not be provided at the same point. So this is okay. They did not provide at the same point. If you see uh, in many videos, they are providing the lapping at the bottom. So which is not correct method. So this is the best design which you can see in this practical video. Guys, you can see the lapping should not be provided in column at the middle as well as at the bottom. So the lapping should be provided after or you can say to the distance of h by 3 which they did already in this practical video you can see clearly guys length tie dia is 8 mm main ties dia is also 8 mm here guys you can see the spacing is 6 inches after lapping and lapping zone you can see the spacing is 4 inches which is best as you can see guys bottom of this column they did not provide the lapping at the bottom because this is not good to provide the lapping here. The lapping should be provided after h by 3 distance. h is the total height of the column divided by 3 then you are able to provide the lapping. Also the lapping should not be provided by h, h by 2, height divided by 2. That is not the place to provide lapping. As you can see guys the lapping as I told you guys, the lapping should not be provided at the same point. Each lapping height should, should be changed from each other as you can see, which is about 6 to 7 inches. As you can see clearly, this is for four-story commercial building. From this practical video, you are able to learn what is the correct size of column. All these things is depend on the structure load. Only one problem guys you can see hooks are provided in the same direction so it should be provided alternately to give you a good result guys you can see lapping formula is here 6td where d is die of steel rod Guys, this kind of practical video can help you if you are working on construction site, if you are studying. So, these videos can help you. You can see guys, let me guide you for the other column. 
this is corner column size is same 12 steel rods dia 20 mm lateral tie dia is 8 mm with the spacing of from 100 to 150 mm or from 4 to 6 inches link tie dia is 8 mm also with the spacing of same as well as you can see guys lapping which are provided on the correct place which is this one as you can see guys lapping is not provided at the same point so it is different from each other look at here it is one this is the other one because if the lapping is provided on the same point so it has more chances for collab guys you can see hooks are bent on 135 degree most students they are telling me sir show us the correct way for column steel reinforcement so this is the correct way and i did many videos for beam slab sometime i'm showing you more big mistakes that's why because if you are working on construction site so you should remember these things which i'm telling you in practical videos so therefore these types of videos can help you practically compared to theoretical video with concrete cover the size will be 18 by 18 inches hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.